Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. We're going to get up to about 43 and sunshine, but um, it starts out cold and there is some ice, you know, on the ground. Some of that snow has turned to ice overnight. So yeah, just be careful. Yeah, freezing. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if you're sending the kids out to the bus stop or whatever the case Send is. Send them out in T-shirt and shorts. <laughs> They'll be fine. Don't listen to Aunt Candy. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, I do have so a couple. So what was interesting what? in your weekend? Did you do anything I, interesting? Well, it's, it's funny uh, you mentioned because before we get to these articles I wanted to talk about, I was going to start with uh, some movies that I saw, and I figured this would be a good time for your Barbie review as well. Ah. Yeah. Ah. So go ahead. Let me know. Tell me, what do you actually I, think? I liked it. I didn't love it. I thought some of it was ridiculous. I loved other parts of it. It's not a movie I'll ever have to see again. Um, I don't see all the rage, though I'm trying to understand it. That's my review. You know, uh, I love that, you know, maybe 2024 is the year that Fathead and Candy are on the same page. I love oh, wouldn't that. Wouldn't that be something? Uh, because I, I told you, I only saw about a half hour of it. But it was the part where, I guess, Barbie and Ken end up uh, going from Barbie world into the regular world. And it was like yes. that kind of that half hour there. And I was trying. Look, I didn't watch five minutes. I watched about a half hour. And I, too was trying to figure out what all the rage was about because it, it didn't hit me. It did not do what it's doing to other people, Candy. I agree. Um, so, anyway, there you have mm. it. All right. Um, did you watch anything else uh, before I get to my films? Mm, no, nothing that's ringing a bell right now. All right. Uh, because I was a little under the weather this weekend, Yes. Uh, I watched four movies Ooh, on netflix that's yeah a lot yeah uh okay we'll start with a documentary you definitely want to watch i recommended it to amy and uh she thought it was wild it's called bitcon now what is this okay it's a you know bitcoin right the i do but very okay. little i'm not okay. really sure it's an alternative currency it, it would take too long to explain but basically right. All those coins are like alternative currencies, okay? Um, so this documentary is called BitCon, and it's about a bunch of guys who started one of these apps and how they scammed people. And it's wild to see just how stupid these guys are and how they pulled off what they pulled off. You, It's an hour and a half documentary. It's intriguing. It's interesting. You should watch it. Brian would like it. The two of you should yeah, watch it. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's something he could sit through with me. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's on Netflix. By the way, these are all Netflix. Um, gotcha. I watched Society of the Snow, which is a remake, a full, like, new 2024 updated remake of the... Uh, Uruguayan, uh, it's Uruguayan, right? Is that if you're from your your Uruguayan? Uh, Did I get I'm that? I'm not sure. It's about the rugby team from Uruguay in the 70s that crashed in the Andes and had to eat each other to survive. Whoa. You don't know this story? I do now. I had put that in the recesses of my mind. All right, 1972. By the way, uh, my sister Amy, who, she's the one I share these movies with because she, she of my family, she's the one who's going to watch them. Um the, she she didn't know the story either, but very famous, 1972. There was a team, book about this, right? Well, it was a true story. Yep. Rugby team from Uruguay crashed in the Andes, and it's a story of how... I don't want to give when anything When you're hungry, away. you'll eat anything. There's an old movie from decades ago called Alive. The name mm. of the movie is Alive. Okay? That's the one I'm thinking of. Okay. This is a remake. I think this one's actually better. I like oh, this one. Okay. I do and, remember Alive. Oh. Okay. It's called Society of the Snow. Good oh. one. All right? Mm -hmm. 
All okay. right, I'll check that one out for sure. Then on Amy's recommendation, I watched Nyad. Have you seen this? I have not. What's that all about? Oh, you're going to like oh, it. Oh, wait, wait. The Jodie Foster thing with the swimmer. And Benning and Jodie Foster. Yeah. Because and she also was on Sunday morning yesterday. They did yes. A of her. Yes. And they were talking about this movie. So, yes, I have heard of it. I didn't see it. How was it? It You'll enjoy it. I enjoyed it. You will enjoy it. I thought it was good. Uh, it's a true story. Uh, Annette Benning plays this uh, superstar swimmer uh, that tries to swim from Cuba to Florida. I remember when that was happening. So her last name or his first name, last name, I don't know. Her name is Nyad anyway. So yeah, her last name. Okay. Uh, and... Yeah, good film. You'd uh, you'd enjoy. It's interesting. And then here's one. I'm searching yesterday morning, and I found a movie that came out in 2017 that I remember wanting to see in the theaters. I never went to see it. And I'm like, oh, look, there it is. It's called Downsizing with Matt Damon. Do you, you ever see this film? Do you remember this film? I have not seen the film. Okay. The basic outline is... It's uh, years and years in the future, and it talks about how uh, it's, you know, scripted movie, how people are shrinking themselves and moving to miniature cities to uh, save space because there's overpopulation and and help the climate and all these different things, right? So it's about this professor, this doctor, right, who invents this way that people can shrink themselves down to five inches tall and creates these community. Anyway, here's the bottom line. The concept, whoever sat down and thought of this film, the concept was outstanding. There, there could have been something great here, but that's the first 35, 40 minutes after that, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids comes to mind. No, it, it, no this was a serious film. It was a little bit gotcha. of comedy, a little bit mm-hmm. of comedy, but a serious film. But I have to, after the first 40 minutes, and you're like, wow, this is a cool concept, the movie just goes off the rails and loses focus. And and it was, the concept was great, the execution, not so much. I'm going to tell you to skip it. It's not All right. worth it. Thank All right? You, honey. Yes. Okay. And that's it. That's my, uh, there's my... Hey, very good. Maybe every Monday we do a Netflix review. Hey, look, for the good of the show, I will sit down on the couch (laughs) and watch TV. If it's going to help this program, by God, I'll do it. What Mm -hmm. a mighty fine man. All right, let's get uh, to these predictions. 100 years ago. There were predictions in 1924 what these people, some of these uh, different people, doctors and uh, scientists and whatever, what they thought would be a hundred years. And now here we are in 2024, Candy. Oh, that's here. Some had good intentions, some not so much. Uh, One of the predictions was that in 2024, nobody would have any teeth and the look of humans would completely change. Well, I'm glad that didn't come true. I was just at my dentist, and she said, what are your goals? I said, to keep all my teeth at the top of the list. (laughs) Well, you're doing good then. Uh, This was an interesting one. A professor at USC 100 years ago predicted that in 2024, horses would be endangered because of the invention of automobiles, and they wouldn't have to uh, pull the carriages anymore, and they'd be rendered useless and I, I think in concept that's an interesting prediction it is one i could understand fortunately one that did not happen correct uh there was a prediction a hundred years ago in a book to, in a book called wireless possibilities this guy basically predicted the internet he talked about doing most things remotely and there was even a quote a hundred years ago that says what a help to the man who objects to a large city. Why could he not conduct his business from his house in comfort? Love it. Love it. it Let's is, all do more of it. Isn't that incredible, though? Love That's, that. Yeah, 100 years ago, guy said that. Uh, here's another one. A British politician in 1924 predicted life expectancy could be up to uh, over 100 years old, and at 75 years of age, we would still feel fairly young. And that's what's happening, and that is a blessing. 
Absolutely. Uh, then, of course, there was someone, a uh, movie mogul, D.W. Griffith, who predicted that world peace would would be over us, uh, everyone. We'd be all civilized. That obviously has not come That's to fruition. That's a beautiful thought, though. Yeah. Uh, here's one. What do you think of this? hundred years ago, in a letter to the New York Daily News, a prediction was made in 1924 that women would be in charge of everything and men would be raising the children. Interesting. That does happen in some households, for sure. Yeah. Oh, we've we've moved in in a way towards that. Absolutely. Obviously, it's uh, it's uh, you know hasn't Not taken complete. over. Right. But uh, yeah, in, definitely there was something there. Somebody was onto yeah. something. Absolutely. Uh, for sure. Right. I mean, you're talking about a time where where women had uh, very few rights a hundred years ago, and now look, yeah. So hard it, it to was, believe, but true. It's. There's a lot of things that are hard to believe. Absolutely. Um, let's see if there's anything. Uh, oh, here, here's here's uh, here's one for you. Everyone would be flying to work. They mean in in the like an airplane or a yeah, helicopter or, f- or, or flying or cars, individual flying cars. Gotcha. Right. Because right. everybody's flying to work, but nobody's moving. That's, <laughs> that's what's happening here. And the final one I have on the list, and this kind of makes sense, somebody predicted 100 years ago that cities would be totally rebuilt around vehicles. Now, it has not happened. You know, we don't see three three decks of roads and, like, you know, speedways and all these things that have been built. Obviously, the LIE is still a traffic jam. But I do believe that as we're going forward here, uh, they are... Uh, rebuilding, you know, roads and situations to try to, uh, you know, account for all of the volume that is out there. How somewhere. about fixing the potholes on my street? Is that too much to ask? That would be a great prediction. If we could get that done, I would ap- I would love that, really. Uh, and, I, and I hope for that. For 2024... Yes. I hope I hope that happens for you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Candy, we're less than 20 minutes to your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. We start out uh, freezing temperatures here. We'll get up to about 43 and sunshine. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.